Hello, this morning I am going to teach you about the concept of displacement and how that differs from distance. Just sort my hair out. Let's get cracking. I need to sort my facial hair out, Jesus. Right, okay. I said it, not you, so, so it's fine. Right, okay then. So the concept of distance, if we have got two piles of brown stuff and I will colour in the brown stuff for your pleasure and I'm going to take great satisfaction doing this. So if we've got two piles of brown stuff sitting there and we have got a fly hovering on pile of brown stuff number one. Okay, now in terms of the distance that the fly is going to travel, bzz, flies don't buzz, but just, just, yeah, just, just hear me out. Then that line represents the distance that the fly has travelled to go from point one to point two, okay? And that fly in that process may have gone 15 meters distance, okay? Now, how does displacement differ? Displacement is distance in a set direction. So, the fly has gone from this point to this final point here, its displacement would be one meter. So all displacement concerns is start point and end point. It does not concern what goes on in between. So if you've got an expert runner, such as Mo Farah, running 40k, and going around and around the track, the distance that they've run has been 40k as they've run that track several times. If their end point is the same as the start point, then the worst thing that you could tell a runner of a track marathon is their displacement would be zero because they haven't gone anywhere. Okay, they have not gone anywhere. So, in terms of difference between displacement and distance, we say that displacement is distance in a set direction. And because of that, it is a vector quantity. Okay, keeping that brief this morning, that's all there is to it. Stay home, stay safe.